In this video, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do another t-shirt design in Canva for free. And this time I'm gonna go after the funny Christmas chicken t-shirt niche that I talked about in this video right here. I'm gonna do it all in Canva and all for free. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. And my channel is all about helping you to learn how to design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you want to learn how to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So a little while ago, I did a tutorial on Canva, this video right here, and I showed you how to use Canva. This is a free tool, a free application online, uh, absolutely free, where you can design t-shirts uh, and, you know, come up with some your own designs. And a lot of comments in those videos said that they wanted more Canva tutorials. So here I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do another tutorial, t-shirt tutorial. I'm planning on doing uh, some things a little different in this one so that you can learn some of the other things in Canva. This is only my second time using Canva, so I'm not a pro in Canva, but I have designed t-shirts before, so hopefully that helps me a little bit to know how to put things together. So it's all gonna be in Canva. It's gonna be using the free version. And like I said in the beginning, I'm gonna go after the funny Christmas chicken t-shirt niche, a sub niche of Christmas. And hopefully it turns out great. What I'm wanting to do is put this design on Amazon and see if it sells. Can I make a sale from something that I made on Canva for free? If so, then I really uh, got a great return on investment because free application and making money from a free design, right? So, so let's go right now on the internet and go onto Canva and let's see what I can come up with for this niche. All right, so here we are on Canva. You just go to canva.com. If you haven't seen my first video, I'll put a link up here to it. Uh, you might wanna watch that first because in that video, I show you how to kind of set up everything, but uh, yeah, you may be able to follow along here. So first thing first, create design. I wanna use custom design. I mentioned that in the last video. And then you can type in the width and height here, but I've already had a recent one. So this is 4,500 by 5,400. That's the Merch by Amazon size. I'm gonna click that. And here we have a brand new board. So first thing I'm gonna do is look for chickens under elements. So we got templates where you can do t-shirt templates and other templates and elements which have graphics and things like that. So I'm gonna type in chicken and make sure it's graphics. And I'm gonna scroll down. We wanna look for free. So you see some of these say free. Oh, I like this one right here, free. And there it is. And I wanna have a dark colored background. So I'm gonna click on here and just choose like a, a red or something, maybe a little darker red. Like that, okay. And then these chickens can be white. So I'm gonna just click on this color and choose white. There you go. And you can flip this. So right here it says flip. And I'm gonna flip it horizontal. There you go. And I want this about that size. I want it kind of almost to the edge, but not quite. So, and you can center it. You see the line right there? It kind of helps you center it. So there's that. So I wanna make it a Christmas thing. So um, let's do this, let's do Santa hat. And I'm gonna pick one of these, one of the free ones again. Let's see, this one, free. And I'm gonna flip it, I'm gonna put it on this bird right here. Flip it and make sure it's the right size. And you can see it has the colors right here. And so for the red, um, let's see, is this the right one? I'm gonna do white instead, or like pure white. And this red, I think we'll do that. Or maybe, maybe for that one, I can do the color of the background. Yeah, this one too, color of the background. Very nice, so it looks like he's wearing a hat. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, text. So going to text here. I like this text right here that says wild. So I'm going to click on here and 
I'll delete this one and delete this one. And I'm gonna use this one for Mary, let's see. Mary, I like that script font. And I'm gonna make that white. So here, uh, click on the text color and white. And you can make this a big size. So I'm just gonna grab the corners here and I'll make it bigger. Yeah, that's looking cool. Maybe even bigger. Mary, okay. And let's see. I'm gonna put it in the back so it, uh, you can position it right here, position and backward, backward, all the way in the back. And the reason I put it in the back is so I can grab the other things in the front because it was taking a lot of space. So I'm gonna move these down. Yeah, so I got some room right here. Um, let's see, I'm gonna see if there's another text that I like here. That one's kind of cool. Hmm. I need I need something tall and uh, you know thick and tall. So this one's kind of cool. That one's kind of neat. Let's try this one. Coffee, please. Let's see if that's tall enough. I'm gonna do a funny uh, play on Christmas. So instead of Merry Christmas, I'm gonna do Merry Cluckmas. Cluckmas. Just using some puns, I think it makes it you know funny. And again, you can grab the corners here. Oh, I didn't realize that that had kind of a drop shadow there. Maybe I don't use this. Um, we can pick a different text here. Let's see, is that one cool? No, why does it have a, you know what? No, I'm just gonna, I don't like that drop shadow. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm just gonna go in here and type text. So you can just type in text here by going to the top add a heading and I'm gonna click this, maybe all caps. That's not a bad, um, bad font right there either. It's kind of tall. Nope. Let me see if I can find another one. I'm gonna go here and Gothic. That's too, not exactly what I want. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, nice and thick. Um, kind of the right weight, I like that. So I'm gonna make this, grab this, and make it about the same width as the two here. So not quite to the edge. And I'm gonna make this white. So text and white. Okay, so what we wanna do is layer. So you can see here, I got space here, space here. And there's some other things I could do in here to make it look more Christmassy, right? So let's see what we got. Um, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna add a page here and I'll show you why. So here's another page and I'm gonna go to the templates and do uh, Christmas t-shirts. And here's some cool Christmas t-shirt ideas. Um, oh, this one was cool. So I'll click on that there. I'm gonna use these right here, that looks cool. I'm gonna add another page just so I have something else. Let's look what else we have here. Oh, this one has a lot of icons, so I can use those icons uh, to fill in the space. So I'm gonna do that here. And I want a good, uh, let's do another one. So what I'm doing is I'm not using the exact t-shirt templates. You never wanna use the whole template. You wanna change it a lot. And so I'm gonna take items from the different templates and use it in my design. So let's go here, great. Okay, so I can use some of these um, designs here, these snowflakes, you know, I'm just gonna hit copy and paste them up here. Copy Command C, just like Affinity Designer, and then Command V up here, and you can see right there, and I'm just gonna turn them white right there, and I can make it bigger or smaller, right? So just put it anywhere. We'll come back to that one. I want these here. So I'm gonna copy these. One, two, and that one's different too. So Command C and come up here, click on this page and Command V. And you can see they're all here. And they're in the front. They paste automatically to the front. So I'm gonna turn these. You can see this turning here, this rotate. You can turn it and it will tell you if it's straight by saying zero right there, okay? Uh, and then this one, I'm gonna turn it to wait till it says zero right there. That could work. 
and this one, you know, turns to say zero. Zero, that's cool. Maybe that there, maybe one more of these here. If you hold down Option and drag, it will copy it just like Affinity Designer. So a lot of these things that you can do in Canva, you can do in Affinity Designer. So this is a, actually a really good uh, way to learn some of the tips and tricks. So I'm gonna go here, select all of these. Whoops, I don't think I can color them all at the same time. So I'm gonna make these white. I'm doing this whole thing mostly in white and then I can grab it and you can see these are coming down like that. And you can press your up and down arrow, you can see, and with holding down shift, you can make it move a little further. So that looks that looks pretty cool. Let's do these white again. And this one white. So you can see right here, these are the two colors of the object and I'm just changing those two colors to white. And you can make them bigger or smaller. This one too, this one has three colors. Uh, let's just make all of them white. Cool, right? So that kind of looks like Christmas already with the hanging ornaments. Yeah, I like it that. Okay, um, let's see what else we got down here. We use those, that's fine. I want to use this holly thing. This is grouped, so I'm going to have to ungroup them. You can see now they're all separate. So let's do this holly wreath. Command C, right? And then come up here, click on page one. Command V, and it pasted it right there. I'm gonna put the holly wreath here, and we can turn it, and we can make them all white again. All right. So you can see how I'm layering the different things just to fill in the space and to give it more of a Christmas feel, right? So let's see. Uh, I could do this again. Option, drag. See, that's copying it. And then I'm gonna flip it. Flip it this way. And, whoops, that's not what I want. I want to turn it, there it is. That was for comments. Okay, you can see that, right? Where's my turn, there it is. Um, like that, maybe, maybe even smaller. Yeah, that works. Cool, okay, so I wanna add some more snowflakes. Uh, let's see, not that one. This guy has snowflakes. I could've used this holly uh, branch too, so let's see, I already have those. Let me see if I can find another snowflake. So I'm gonna go here into elements and type in snowflake. I just wanted some variety here. So make sure, again, not the pro, we wanna use the free version. Uh, yeah, that one's cool. this one's kind of cool. It's a little different than that one, but it kind of matches the style, but that's pro again. Uh, let's see. All right, let's just do this free. Free, click on here, and, you know, if you use free, you can't really be picky on what you get. You have to get what, get what you get. Okay, and then, again, I'm holding down option and dragging, option and dragging that. Hey, not bad. Kind of filled that space in. Let's do one more. Let's do this free one. Cool. And then we can turn it, remember? So I can turn like that. And make it white. Cool. That kind of filled in the space. Then I'm just playing this stuff around here. All right, so we got Merry Cluckmas, you got the two chickens, you got uh, snowflakes, ornaments. You can add whatever you want. I'm just picking out different things. You could have put, uh, you know, snow, other snow kind of flakes here, um, presents, maybe it's stepping on a present or something like that, uh, anything like that. So this is kind of more of a vintage look, vintage feel. It has just one color. You could add more colors if you want. Like if you did this here and you wanted, you know, this one to be another color, you can see like that. But the reason why I do white is because you can use it on multiple background colors, okay? All right, so I think this is great. I'm gonna get rid of these other ones. 
So I can go in here and delete these pages now. I don't need them. And there we go. So this is ready to go. I'm going to export this or download this. And just hit download. So now that it's downloaded, I'm going to knock out the background like I did in my last video. Shouldn't take too long. And then I'm going to upload it to Merch by Amazon and you're going to see what it looks like. So here we are on Merch by Amazon. You can see I uploaded this design right here. I'm going to hit edit details so you can see a closer look. I'm going to zoom in right here. And you can see I've only put it on cranberry and red. And the reason I did that is so that I know it's going to be on those two colors. It's either going to be on red or cranberry. I don't want it to be on black or any of these things because, because it's Christmas and I want it to stand out. I want it a uh, white on red or white on cranberry. And I think it will stand out really well there. I don't want it on different colors. I don't think people are going to buy it that much on these other colors. So that's how I'm going to limit my colors. And that way it's going to show uh, as a red or cranberry on the Amazon page, right? You can see I did it for all of these here, red and cranberry. This one only has red, the v-neck. This one only has red, the tank top. I also put it on long sleeve and sweatshirts. Unfortunately, they don't have red. So I just left it on black and all the other colors here. So that's how I did it. Not the gray because it kind of washes out. But these other colors are good. Uh, most likely people aren't going to buy those, but I just wanted to give myself a good chance of selling it. And I put it on all the marketplaces here. You can see right there. So again, trying to give myself a good chance of selling. And if you saw the details, I'm doing it at $13.99. I would probably go lower on these two, but I'm just doing it really quickly here. So $19.99. I probably could do this $15. Give myself a good chance. Uh, what is this? Let's try $15 here. Yeah, that's good. I'll do 15 here. Yep. And 18 here. And oh, 25. 25 there. All right. So now that we got the prices right, I typed in these already. You can see for my title, I'm going to do Merry Cluckmas since that's what's on the t-shirt and then Funny Christmas Chicken. Remember? That was in the video. And then I got a couple of other ones here. Vintage, because it looks like a vintage design. And pajama, because it also could be used as a pajama top. So I'm going to try and get those as well. And then I wrote sentences with keywords in here. I'm not going to read them all, but you can see Merry Cluckmas here. Chickens, snowflakes are in there, ornaments, uh, Christmas puns, and so on. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to hit Publish and hopefully get some sales before Christmas. I'm crossing my fingers. If I do, I'll make another video about it. So I just wanted to share one more thing before I close this video, and that is take a look how much this stands out now. Because I made it red, and because I made it white on red, all the other chicken t-shirts right here are black, right? So now everyone's eye, hopefully, is going to this t-shirt right here. It's got a lower price, and um, it just stands out with that vintage look, right? And and it has a different saying than everything else. None of these say Merry Cluckmas. Uh, none of these have the kind of two chickens. So that's what you want to do when you create your design is to look at the competition, look what they're doing, and then kind of do something different to make it stand out. I'm not putting it on black. I'm not doing um, this kind of design with the colored chicken. I have a white chicken and it doesn't have Christmas lights all over it, that kind of thing. So very vintage. So hopefully all those things are in my favor and we'll see if this sells for Q4. So that is it for this video. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm planning on doing more Canva tutorials and more tutorials for Affinity Designer and more tutorials for all the apps that you have. Make sure to put those in the comments. I'm going to try and get some other apps to do tutorial t-shirt tutorials for it. But before I leave, I want to do a question of the day. And the question of the day is this. Have you ever sold a t-shirt design that you made on Canva? Let me know in the comments. Like I said, this is only my second time on Canva, so I haven't sold any on Canva. I hope to get a first one just to see if it works really well to give you some feedback. Love to hear your thoughts in it in the comments. Thanks again for watching this video. And if you want to see more design tutorials, make sure to click on these right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.